the freedom of the people in future so you want to clear all those and make the people to have complete freedom in the long run of the future so he want to be very strict in washing away the unnecessary issues what are present at that time so in this process of washing away the things he brought certain new policies what are those he if he considers anyone as the enemies in the word of enemies he need to describe that he considers the people as enemies who are against the republican ideology who are in the pro kingship policy pro democratic methods or pro any other methods which are against the republican ideology of the france he arrested them he imprisoned them and they were tried by the courts the revolutionary courts if the court founds them as guilty immediately they would be sent to guillotine guillotine is the name of a machine which was designed by dr guillotine dr guillotine described a two poled machine which has one blade which beheads the person's head from his body which means literally killing a person using a machine this is known as guillotine machine after the name of the inventor dr guillotine and whoever is sent to this guillotine will be guillotinized means killed if the punishments are very severe if the rules if they do not follow the rules they are liable for the punishments and he also brought certain major changes like sealing the wages and prices of the products he brought all the wages on a streamlined procedure and he brought them at a single cap everybody must and should pay certain amount of wages for the workers and the market prices will not increase as per the wish or the whims of the people in the market that will be dictated by the government so market prices are maintained at the reachable cost of the common people it was a very fantastic step taken by robert spears and then meat and bread are rationed meat and bread are made available to the people even at very low cost and at the reach of the people and if any farmer tries to sell his product outside the market he will be punished severely government will fix the price of the crop and people are forced to sell their crop to the market at the fixed price of the government and no extra charges shall be laid on that and no extra profits will be given and later he also want to bring utmost equality completely he want to eradicate the discrimination of madam and sir he want all of them to have the citizenship rights irrespective of any discriminations so he want to streamline the society on the guidelines of equality market to be controlled by the government to make it reachable to the people and at the cost which can be afforded by the poor people of the society at that point of time in france so yes his policies are extremely very well and very good which are well connected to the poor people very well connected to the needy people and he want to make equality in the true justice by bringing no discrimination on the people's side not even calling the people with a special respect call all of them as citizens so now this was brought with an iron hand very strict rules very strict implementations very severe punishments by mistake or by chance if you talk anything against the views of robert spears you will be imprisoned you will be arrested and you will be taken to the court the revolutionary court where sometimes you may be sent to the gulatin also as a punishment so this much of extreme severe phase made his own supporters to feel that we need modernization we need to be little bit soft when we are dealing with the people we need to be modern in the sense we do not take decisions in a hurry we need some time we do not want such a severe one punishments for anybody we want to be soft in nature 
and make the people to understand what are the problems. In July 1794, Robert Spears Max Million was tried by the court, the Revolutionary Court, and on the very next day, he was sent to the guillotine. And there ends the story of Robert Spears Max Million, a great person who dreamed to have a society on the basis of true equality, who brought the ceiling of the wages, who rationed the meat and wheat, the available cost of the people. But still, the way it was implemented was really very harsh and very tough, where the people could not bear it much more than just one year. And this brought the end of a great rule of Robert Spears Max Million, who tried his level best to make the society to get into the true equality lines by removing of all the discriminations. Yes, Robert Spears rule was really harsh and he gave severe punishments. Maybe that is a point which was a serious drawback for his rule. Other than that, he was a really a social reformer in the society of France. That's the reason why rightly it is known as the reign of terror, the rule of Robespierre Maxwell. Now, the directory rule over France. We have seen the Robespierre Maxwell rule. People were suffering a lot because of his severe punishments. So people decided to go for the other set of rules. With the fall of Robert Spears, Jacobin government falling down, the wealthy middle class came to power in France. So now the power is in the hands of the wealthy middle class people. They have drafted a new constitution. They have brought new changes in the existing constitution. That is, the voting rights were denied to the non-propertied people, which means only the rich and the privileged people who can own some properties who are paying certain amount as tax only are eligible to vote which actually was contrary as per the laws made by Jacobin that's why they changed the constitution and later we have elected council so the elected council decided that we would not have any one person's rule again like what we have experienced in the Robert Spear Maximilian case. So they decided to have two branches that is elected councils in that they will have directory group, executive group. Each group will have again five representatives not at all in one person's hand. They will have five representatives and most of the times the directory and the executive were always in clash with each other. They never used to agree or go hand in hand with each other. They always used to take the opposite sides and used to fight. This created a lot of political instability in the country. And this political instability paid the way for the rise of a military dictator, Napoleon Bonaparte. So now, Napoleon Bonaparte declared himself as a ruler of France. This clearly shows for us that France which was under the monarchic rule under Louis XVI got converted into constitutional monarchy. Again from constitutional monarchy it turned into complete republican state. From the republican state it became into a directory rule and finally it moves back to the situation of monarchic rule. Though it came back to the same old system of ruling, the ideals of liberty, fraternity and the brotherhood relationships and the equality principle did not leave inspiring the people in various parts of Europe and all over the globe. So now let's find out what was the role of the woman and what did Napoleon do at the end we shall discuss. We shall now find out what is the role of the woman in the French Revolution. How did they contribute and what are they active 
or passive we will find out if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus